are there any techniques or tools that we haven't already mentioned that you would recommend? OK, so this is more of a general one to. I have one technique and more and this this day this I still have the same issue from since I was an undergrad to right now, and that is on receiving feedback. You know, and uh -huh. so I don't care what anybody says <laughs> when, when feedback comes first, there is an emotional reaction. That's it, right? There is. And so kind of the strategy that I have learned in that regard is when you read, you <laughs> get the feedback first. Never mind that you put your heart and soul into the work. Never mind that. Never mind that. You, I can't remember which supervisor it was that told me this, but it's about your head and your heart. And so you have to kind of let, let the feedback arrive here. However, if the feedback does go here, which 99.999% of the time it does for me, what I have learned to do is just to completely walk away. So, and I mean physically, like, because usually the feedback comes written. So I'm not walking away from the person who's given it to me. So usually my feedback arrives written. And what I need to do in that regard is I need to either go for a walk, I need to go for a run if it's very heavy, uh, straight down a hill. And then by the time I come back up the hill, everything has settled for me. But the number one strategy that has helped me in this entire uh, journey that I've had is to acknowledge that everybody, you know, at some stage we get, you know, feedback is tough. You know, it can, it can be, it can be great too. I shouldn't be a negative Nelly. But how I manage feedback in general, and sometimes it can be, when you see it first, it's very, very heavy and you go, oh my God. And so in that regard, what, what you just read it and it lands whatever way it lands. So if it just stays in your head, OK, you're great. If it goes to your heart, you're still great. Go off, breathe, do whatever you need to do. Come back, be it a couple of hours, be it a couple of days. And I've done that, too. Then put your head in and say, this is not a personal attack on you. Uh -huh, this uh -huh. is to get your work over the line. So that's my number one strategy. That's a great tip. Um, <laughs> yeah, and especially, um, well, this won't be going out till next week, but, you know, this is Mental Health Week and that whole piece of resilience and being able, if yeah, that's a really, really good point of, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I, I would agree with Mirren. It's um, feedback can be incredibly hard to take on board. And I think it's also to think about the feedback in a different way as well, like taking Murren's strategy, but also looking at it as a way, this is a way to improve what I'm doing and try and view it in that way. I often tell when people ask me about feedback, how do I feel about it? And I say, well, I put on a coat of armor and I let it bounce on and off and then I go through it. But the important thing with the feedback is to make sure if there's something that I don't understand that I go back and I ask uh -huh. whoever has given me that feedback to either expand on it or I do a little bit of research around that myself and find out, well, what does that actually mean? What they're trying to tell me if I would prefer if I want to do it independently. Um, another thing that. We have mentioned a little bit about the well-being. Well-being is huge as part of the journey that we're on, and it really needs to be incorporated as a technique or a tool throughout our day, be it your work and studying part time and working full time or studying full time, regardless of the journey, the life journey you're taking that's including academia. It, it's really important to incorporate make time for you as part of the process and reward yourself when you have submitted an assignment. Treat yourself to that bun afterwards if it was really difficult to get it over the line. Um, catch up with your friends and even like, you know, working with your peers in your the course that you're doing talk to each other about your experiences, share ideas, because this is the journey. The more you talk about your discipline, 
the more fluent you get in talking about it. And that also helps in assignments and whatever you're doing for it. I think for me, that would be the one to it's that engagement, having conversation around mm. it, is, around topic areas is is important to help that process. And even when you're taking breaks, doing assignments, always remember that as you step away from your work, subconsciously, your brain is digesting. So never feel guilty mm -hmm. about that 10 or 15 walk, minute walk, because if something was confusing you beforehand, I can guarantee halfway through the walk, light bulb moment. And when you get back to the desk, it will just all be clear for you to go for go forward with whatever idea you have. Yeah, to think of it that way actually is so useful because it can it can get to the point where you're thinking I can't take 10 or 15 minutes. But actually, yeah, yeah. when you're away from devices and you're yeah. away from information coming in, that's sometimes when the penny drops and actually you can things start to make sense. Yeah, I, had, I, I just thought of another one there, um, which is the use of a reflective diary. Um, yeah. And this is the thing, and I've been saying this to the first years that I'm working with now. The thing is that there's new knowledge, you know, there's new knowledge there. And the new knowledge is, is, is coming from everywhere. It's coming from the idea that you have. And so if you're reading a paper or something like that, and if you don't necessarily agree with it, or equally, if you think, you know, it's not fully developed, but you don't, you don't know what you mean by that just yet, Take note of that. Like it's just in your reflective diary. Take note of that. I mean, and I know this from doing the PhD because I came in as a practitioner. So I had a different form of expertise in academic. And when I read academic papers, it didn't totally always make sense to me. But equally, I wasn't able to articulate what didn't make sense to me. And I found from just using a reflective diary, and it could be literally something like, I don't agree with this or question mark or but what about this or what about that and I have found that you know th those reflective diaries have actually really you know stood to me in terms of creating new knowledge for the sector so yeah it was just something that but don't be scared you don't be scared if you have a new idea or don't be scared if you if you if you don't agree with something because there's there, there's there's definitely something in that you know and that bit of knowledge we, we want to hear it mm -hmm. absolutely and uh, just to go back to your point about the the feedback thing and i will actually we will be doing a discussion like this when it comes closer to assessment time so i suppose we've kind of nearly moved into there but um it can be so hard when you have invested so much energy in in doing so much work and like that you're keeping on top of things and then at the end of it all like say you can get this we've all had feedback that has been disappointing um at times and it you know you're probably already like pretty worn thin by the time you're receiving it so that you don't have much to draw on at that point and it can feel so all consuming when you're when it's very grade focused and it's assessment focused and deadline focused but just I suppose to say in retrospect the thing that's nice to to keep in mind is what you walk away from you will forget those exact words of that feedback probably but what you do keep is that breadth the breadth of knowledge that you've developed and really if, if the feedback informs that like just because you might get something that isn't as positive as you hoped or whatever it doesn't necessarily mean you haven't done a good job or you haven't done a huge amount of work or you haven't got a huge amount of learning from that piece but maybe somewhere you fell down in conveying what you'd learned or you just ran out of time or whatever that happens you've still done probably you know the best where you can look you can reevaluate and, and take it on board for how you approach it next time. But it doesn't mean that the whole thing has been lost or that there's been no benefit to doing that work in the way that you did it. Do you know what I mean? It's all contributing, yeah. isn't it? No, absolutely. And you know what? I, I have, a, you know, I have a first time, I have many first hand experiences of that, but I'm just thinking recently, you know, of a paper that I submitted and, you know, the first, the first draft of that paper versus the final draft, and I remember thinking the first draft was amazing, and then it got absolutely hopped off of. But, <laughs> but the final draft is so slick, you know. Oh, so yeah. you know, so like that, you know. I have forgotten about, you know, I and I yeah. had to do a lot of walks for that paper. Nice. But the final draft, you know, I'm really happy with it. So yeah, feedback serves a purpose. Yeah, for sure. Well, 
I just have to admire Myron that your your coping strategies for that are to go out for a run. My God, I wish that was. <laughs> <laughs> That's after I've eaten, you know, a whole size pan. <laughs> okay, good. <laughs> <laughs> Um, so I think, Kira, did you want to add any final thoughts or are we kind of, are we are we all kind of good? No, in terms I, of... I think that's everything. Um, yeah. I find at times too, like sometimes students, um, we think that people have it in for us. And I have actually showed my own feedback to students 10 years down the line and told them, look, yeah. this is what I'm still getting, you know, to let them understand that you know it is a process and this journey doesn't stop even when mm -hmm. they're starting not to to see the feedback as a learning tool that yeah. they can learn from to improve because really all we are doing as lecturers is to try and give you feedback to get your marks higher you know mm -hmm. and that's really our intention with the feedback and then if you can even apply a little bit of that feedback it can improve the next mm -hmm. assignment that you're in um okay. yeah i i have nothing else oh you look you could talk about this topic area all day but i suppose it's generally what works for you as the individual and mm -hmm. um it's about enjoying the journey you know yeah. especially that's really important and learning never stops absolutely never. yeah and it is a journey it's not just a yeah final destination um okay well thank you so much and um much appreciated and uh goodbye <laughs> you're very welcome